Hairstyles with braids and crossings. Today, I'm going to show you a very easy way to achieve this half updo and this ponytail with crisscrossed braids. First of all, you want to take all the hair on your crown section, bring it to the back, give it some shape and volume with your fingers, and tie it with a small elastic. Next up, you want to take a section of hair on one of the sides, divide it in three, and do a regular three strand braid. Keep on braiding until you reach the end and tie your hair with a small elastic. Take a section of hair together with the braid you just did and bring them to the opposite side of your head covering the elastic. Now take a hairpin and secure that in place. Now it's time to do the same thing on the opposite side. Take a piece of hair, divide it in three, do a three strand regular braid, tie it with a small elastic. And now you want to take a section of hair and bring it to the opposite side just like you did before. And it's time to stick two bobby pins that everything will stay in place. And see what I'm doing here? I'm placing them vertically. I find this to be the easiest and most effective way. Now you want to take that braid, place it on top and stick a couple hair pins. And you could either straighten your hair or curl it for this look, but I decided to straighten mine today. And that's it. You're done. This is the final look. As you can see, this have updo is very easy to do and it looks really nice. But if you prefer to put your hair in a ponytail, then you want to do one extra braid on either side. Take the hair that's left on your side and bring it to the opposite one. Stick it in place with a hairpin or a bobby pin. Now take that braid, place it on top and stick it in place with a couple hairpins. Now do the same thing on the opposite side. Tie your braid with a small elastic. And now you want to take that last piece of hair, bring it to the opposite side, secure it in place with a bobby pin. Take that little braid, bring it on top of the crossing, stick it in place with some bobby pins and that's it. You're done. As you can see, this crisscross technique is not very complicated. The only thing you need to take into account is the way you place your bobby pins. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me on Facebook, Twitter, and on my website www.patrickjordan.com. Share the love with your friends and see you soon.